Go ahead, up, George. Hi, guys. Go on up. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So, you want to come on here tonight, you guys? And we have um, so many things coming up. So, I wanted to make sure that we were all on the same page and we knew about them. Um, one second. I'm just going to pull it up on my screen so I can have all the dates in front of me in terms of what we have coming up with promotions and releases and all of that jazz. Um, as you guys know, we have, hold on, edit image. I could probably pull this up and show the screen for you. But, okay, I'm gonna do this, perfect. Um, we do have Autumn's new program, Nine Week Control Freak coming out in December. And I know so many people are pumped about that because they all saw what happened when we all went for eight day obsession, not only just physical results, but in terms of our businesses and growth for our team and everything that happened within that. Um, and so I was chatting with, and hopefully they're jumping on soon, but I was chatting with Meg and Katie and Mariah, who's traveling right now with, so I don't think that she'll be on, but, um, you know, about how we could all do this as a team and get behind something as a team. One of the biggest things that we chatted about at leadership was that, you know, when this team selects things and we're like, this is what we're doing, right? It doesn't have to be that we all say the same thing. It doesn't have to be that we all do it the same exact way. It doesn't even have to be like the same challenge group or anything like that. But when we as leaders of a team can get together and say, here are the dates for these things. Here's what you should be promoting. Here's what's coming up next on the calendar. It gives everybody on the team something to follow, something to invite to. There's no confusion. There's no, oh, but so-and-so is doing this and so-and-so is doing this. It's like, no, we're following the calendar that Beachbody puts out there for us because that makes it easy on everybody. There's no questions, right? So couple dates to write down. November 2nd, Peppermint Mocha launches, right guys? That means start talking about it in your stories right now. There's a few different ways you can talk about this, right? Like you could compare it to your favorite peppermint mocha coffee drink that's out there, whether it be Starbucks or something else. And you all know that it's like tons of sugar and tons of calories and tons of all the crap, right? Or talk about how it quenches like your um, desire to have a treat or talk about what it does for you. But like peppermint mocha tastes so freaking good, you guys. And it comes out November 2nd. It's a short release. It will sell out. And so build that urgency within it as well. And I would start talking about it now, because I know it sounds like November 2nd is next month, but that's like literally like next week. <laughs> so we got to start talking about it now. Number two, on November 7th, we are going to do a team-wide flash sale because it is no excuse November. And it gives us time to obviously get through promoting peppermint mocha, get through the holiday of Halloween and use that, that whole week to start inviting to the group for the sale. All challenge packs are going to be $20 off. Everything is going to be on sale. I'm sure we'll put together some really fun packs that are kind of like holiday related and like order to like help you stay on track and that sort of thing. We'll be some doing some prizes and all that jazz. Um, but also promoting the fact that nine week control freak is coming out and we want to help people get in shape for that and prepare for that. And that when you sign up with a challenge pack in November, you're also going to get a promo code so that you can get nine week control freak in December. So it all makes sense. Guys, we all know that as a team, when we 100% all get behind these flash sales together and we'll do it in the same group that we had originally done because there's already thousands of people in there, audience members who will see what we're posting about, the volume for the entire team goes up. So what? Becca, you're so sweet. What the hell? Thank you. Um, uh, <laughs> so then on November 9th, we were thinking that we could open a group and it can be team wide and we can decide to do it on BOG groups if we want to and make each one of us admins so we can add our own people in there and do different sorts of things with like recognition and those pieces because they're tracking stuff and that sort of thing, maybe prizes and giveaways and kind of run it as a team, but thinking doing all autumn related programs so that it's like leading up to nine week control freak. So if we were to do a little obsessed the week of November 9th, then November 16th to December 6th, everybody could do 21 day fix real time. December 7th, um, 
we're going, hold on, I'll get into that in a second. 21 day fix, extreme real time. And then if you did December 28th, a little more obsessed, it leads you right up. And the reason we were thinking that is because we can use all of December to promote nine week control freak, to add people into the group, um, to get them their pack so that they have everything and they're ready to go. But we're also skipping out on that excuse of like, oh, I don't want to start before Christmas, right? Like we're getting them started after the new year. So they don't have that excuse anymore, but also they're going to have all their stuff in time. They're not going to be sitting there when we start Jan, you know, in January and not have their things. Um, and this, this doesn't mean that you guys have to be doing these workouts. What it does mean is this is the schedule we're going to promote for other people to prepare and why we're going to get them in there. Then we're also going to be, is everybody following me so far? People are confused. You got me. You're good. Okay. Then, um, I feel like I've got like a lot of deadpan stares and faces. I need energy because I work off of energy. And when you're just staring at me, like, yeah, that's great, John. That doesn't make sense. It makes me feel like very like, mm. so smile at me and love me. Okay. On December 7th, we are going to do a launch party and welcome to Jen. She's my new coach. Isn't it fun? We've got a new coach on here. All right. So then, um, so on December 7th, we are going to do a launch party. Do you guys remember what those are? We've done the info groups, right? We've done the Snoop groups. And when you're doing those things, thank you, Rachel, I love you too. Um, and when you're doing those things, like, it's like, yeah, you add them in and that person sees the info in that group and stuff. And that's great. It's a great way to, for especially a newer coach to be able to invite to a particular program without feeling that pressure of like, I need to know everything about this. And I need to have all the answers to these questions, right? They can basically know, Hey, my group starts on this. There's a sample workout. We have this info group. Like, do you want me to add you in it to see if you want to join us? And they can say yes. And then you add them in there and the group is done and all the work is done for you. And you just have to check in with them. But what we forgot that we did with 80 day obsession is we also did a launch party within that group. So it was like only 24 hours of, okay, December 7th, it's on sale. We'll offer certain incentives and like swag bag gives giveaways and stuff like that for when that happens. And then in the group, you like are popping up and like saying like, oh my God, so-and-so just got their pack and so-and-so just got their pack. And you're building that FOMO and people are all like super excited and going and buying their stuff and sharing that they just bought their stuff. Right. So it's going to be an info group. And in that info group, all the information will be there, but within like the week, just before December 7th, we're going to build up what time we're going to be going live. We'll have all leaders on this team assigned to going live and talking about a certain thing and like getting them pumped. And we'll talk about like the swag bag giveaways and all of that stuff. We'll be sharing all day long, just like we do in our flash sales of like who just signed up and at the end giving, doing a big giveaway. So everybody will be ready and prepared. And then everybody has a group to go into. So those are like the biggest things. And I'm just thinking, you know, we are set up for such success right now because usually towards the end of the year, everybody's like, I don't know what to do. Like Christmas is coming, Thanksgiving is coming. People are falling off their workouts. They're falling off the routine. Like it's gonna be harder to sell things. But Beachbody looked at it and they were like, okay, I'm going to give you peppermint mocha. I'm going to give you a sale. And then I'm going to give you a launch that we're actually going to release in December. So people can buying it for Christmas presents for themselves or asking their spouse to buy them a Christmas present or just preparing for the new year or whatever it is and actually have a group that they can go into or like, dude, we got your back. We're not going to let you gain that 15 pounds that most people gain between Halloween and Christmas. We've got you. We're doing this as a team. We're going to make it fun. We're going to share things. We're going to do this together. Also, P.S., last time we did a little flash sale group like that, we also did fun cocktail hour. So I was thinking this time we really make it interactive. Like the entire team jumps on a Zoom. We'll decide whatever cocktail that we want to do in advance. It's from Fixate. So we can all have like our recipe right there for us that we're going to use. We can mix it, interact, chat with people and show them how to make like a cocktail. It'll be super duper fun. And then just talk about, and then there's Christmas recipes for cookies and stuff too. So somebody could do that too. I like to drink, somebody else can bake. So we can, <laughs> so we can do those together. It's going to be awesome. Any questions in terms of promo calendar, what's coming up, et cetera? Sound good? Any input, thoughts, questions, preguntas? I'll use different languages just in case the first two didn't make sense. Okay. So also the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys tonight is I went through... And I got permission from Gabby to share this with you guys. And like I've said before, I think that so many times 
in this business, we know what to do to be successful. We know the things and the steps that we need to do every single day. It's actually really super duper freaking simple. I was just on here with Steph and Kara before this call started. Steph sent out, I don't even freaking know how many freaking invites together. And then like Kara was following up with people. And I'm like, you guys, like this business, like we make it out to be this big thing in our head, but then you go and you start doing it and it's fun and people respond and like it doesn't take a long time we overcomplicate it but the reason that we're overcomplicating it is because we have fears we have fears and blocks and limiting beliefs and crap that holds us back from doing and being who we were put on this planet to be and so I asked if it was okay if I shared this with you guys and this is from Gabby Bernstein's master class and she said that it 100% was okay to share and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the worksheet and I'll share it on my desktop. And then we're gonna do a little exercise here. And it's called, let me find it. It is called, did I just, unless I had it open before and then of course it popped out of it. Okay. It's called the fear inventory. Okay, so we're gonna quickly do this exercise. I might play a little music in the background while we do it. Let me pull up the worksheet for you guys. It's gonna go quickly. I'm gonna make you answer these things fast because when it comes just like straight from your gut, you can't overthink it. And so we're gonna go ahead and do it. Okay, sound good? All right, so the first thing I want you to do is if you don't have a piece of pen, a pen and a piece of paper right there, just grab one. Everybody have a pen and paper. Amber and Ashley, I'm just gonna assume you do because I can't see your faces. Okay, cool. So next, what we're going to do is I'm gonna play her and tell me if you guys can hear her or if you can't. All right, hold on. Actually, I might just play my own music and run you through it because I think it'll be a little bit faster. So I'm just gonna share the screen on the worksheet. Hello. Yeah, fear inventory. Pop up, please. Okay, now share screen. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, okay. So I will start playing music, but the first thing that I want you to ask yourself and just write it either at the top of your page or just remember the question and just start writing. I'm gonna give you like two minutes here. What is the fear-based story from your past that is blocking you? What is blocking you from what you're trying to achieve, from what you wanna do, from working your business in a specific way, from having as much money as you want, from starting something new, what is blocking you? Go ahead and I will start playing music. Everybody writing? Don't overthink it. I'll give you like 30 more seconds on this one. Mm -hmm. 
All right, the next one is gonna be, in what ways does this story hold you back from stepping into your power? You don't have to worry about it. Just say, what. in what ways is this story that you're telling yourself holding you back? I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say I've lost my mind. I don't care, I don't care if they call me crazy. How does this fear stop you? from serving others. Next question. How does your fear stop you from serving others? you to sit here for the next 90 seconds and I want you to close your eyes it's okay don't worry I'm not even looking at you right now I want you to close your eyes and I want you to truly feel what that feels like I want you to feel that pain I want you to, to feel it think about it breathe into that space <laughs> Take a moment to breathe into it. If you breathe into a fear and you feel that feeling for 90 seconds, you guys, you can transform it. 
When you avoid feeling these feelings, that's when you stay stuck in addictive patterns and fear behavior. And as you sit there thinking about that feeling, don't judge yourself for that fear or that feeling. Try to do it as non-judgmentally as you can. Just witness that fear and how it makes you feel. We're just going to recite this prayer. Inner guide, I surrender this fear to you. Thank you for helping me reorganize this limiting to belief and restore it back to love. And now I want you to pick up your pen again. And I just want you to describe the relief that you experienced from this exercise, if any. And I want you to write down, releasing this fear gives me the freedom to what? What does releasing fear do for you? Gives you the freedom to what? You can consider that like your freedom statement. So you can come back to that at any time. And I told you we're going to go through these questions really quickly because I don't want you to get stuck on them. So how can your story serve others? Who will your story serve? In what ways have you overcome fear to be the leader you are today? Maybe it's just even saying yes to this business. In what ways have you overcome fear in your life? 
that's brought you to where you are right now. All right, and last but not least, you guys, I want you to make a quick list of ways that your transformation can serve others. Anybody want to share <laughs> what their freedom statement is, what letting go of that fear can do for you? Or how this practice made you feel? Was it helpful at all? Did you learn something about yourself? Did you learn something about How you can move forward. Releasing my fear gives me the freedom to explore my potential and live up to it. I love that. Thank you for being ballsy and saying it. Anybody else? Whenever we were doing the 90 second like part where you had to like feel. Yeah. Halfway through it my mind like made me stop thinking of that. Was that what was supposed to happen? It can happen, yeah. Cause it like totally shut that shit down real quick and was like, no. So there's a couple different things that can happen there. Are you okay with telling us what you were thinking about then? Yeah, I was thinking that um, I wasn't worthy I'm not a very good leader and I'm not smart and skillful enough to be as successful as I want to be. And it makes me sad and it makes me want to give up. Okay. Sometimes when we start to do the work, when we start to like really dig in, it's like our fear brain almost like cuts us off. It's like, nope. That just got too real for me. You might be actually on a breakthrough here. You might be actually at that point where like you, you realize that this crap that you've been telling yourself and it will stop and it will stop you. But I would say if that's what's happening to you, I would dig back into that feeling. And I would literally like, it doesn't matter what you listen to. You can listen to something that resonates with you. It could be complete silence. It could be whatever. And, and I do think that you could practice this again, like without us on here, if you want me to, I'll give you the worksheet. But I do feel like too, sometimes when you think that maybe somebody is like watching you or like you're on a call or you're not quite able to like, let go as much. And so like, for me, I know I was like legitimately like bawling my face off during that, that point where we had to breathe in and think about it. But that release was like, everything I needed. 
Because for me, like the bullshit story that I tell myself is that I'm not enough, right? That I actually don't belong anywhere, not even with my own family, that I'm not enough, that I'm not good enough, that other people are better than me. I think it's like stuff that we all, it's the same bullshit story we all tell ourselves. Like if we all think think to it, there's two things. There's two fears that all fears go back to. One is I'm not enough. And the other is that I'm not lovable or that I don't belong. Those are the, those are what human beings want, right? And so when you start thinking about that and you can really dig into it, you can start thinking about where that thought came from in the first place. Then your mind will start switching that into like why it's not actually true. Then your mind will start digging in and feeling into that feeling. And once you actually get attached and into that feeling, like it's scary at first, but then you can finally let it go. There's like this weird magical thing that happens when you just allow it to happen rather than fighting it from happening. So just try it again. Kaylin, you teared up. You want to talk about that? Just exactly what you said. Like, I feel like I'm not a good enough leader. Um, But my freedom statement was um, releasing this fear gives me the freedom to lead to my ultimate potential and to lead fearlessly and strong. Love that. Shaylee, did you write a, a, a statement? Yeah, I said releasing this fear gives me the freedom to accomplish any goals I have for myself and it allows me to share this opportunity with anyone. Amazing. I'm trying to find mine so I can share it with you guys. I'm not ignoring. I'm just trying to see because I if I'm asking you to be open, I'm going to try to do the same for you. But um, anyone else want to share while I look? Yeah, I think mine at the end said something like, you're doing a great job. This is an old story. Talk to yourself like you would a child. Be present. So within a minute or two, it can dissolve. That's what I said to myself. Like, if you were a child, and I think that's kind of how you have to treat it too. Like, what would you say to you? Like, because that's really where all those stories stem from, right? They're, they're triggers, they're, they're traumas, they're, there's stuff that happened to us like before that then trickle into our daily lives. And then somewhere down the road, we have all these fears and bullshit that we keep telling ourselves. And we're like, where did that come from? Where did that get there? Right. And it's like, it, it's a story that we created based on certain events that had happened. So what would you say to that, that child? Um, Anyone else want to share? You guys know I do this too, right? Like I take my time and I'm, I don't talk for a bit to make the awkward, uncomfortable silence to make you speak, right? Meg. (laughs) Always. Um, my statement was releasing the fear gives me the freedom to go after what I'm capable of doing and finding friends that I can empower and run with me. I love that. And kind of like all of you guys have shared, like Shaylee, Kaylin, like just that I am not capable. I not smart enough, don't have the right personality for it, too private, not a strong enough leader. Done. Except for you're doing the damn thing and you're yeah, doing some income out of this thing. You know what I mean? So it's like, and I think that's what I really want to hit home at. And that's why I'll be like open with you guys and share things because it's like, you could be making six figures in this business and still feel like a failure at times. <laughs> like it, it's an internal thermometer. And so, you know, I just know that for me, um, so I'll just, I'll, I'll just share with you. Like the, the story was stemming from my grandfather and the difference in treatment from my aunt's mom's family is compared to like my uncle's financially love attention, right? And that you have to be successful in order to like get that attention. And then fear number two is that I'm just not as good as other people and that I'll be stuck forever where I'm at, that I can't like move my business forward. Shannon, can you relate to that? 
and you know like and like and I think this stems from comparison and you know and then like how does that stop you from serving others like you question your words you question your leadership you procrastinate because you feel a lack of motivation um not showing up as much as you should you know questioning the people around you like there's just all this stuff like how you compare yourself and where was my actual statement i said Where'd you guys feel this? Where do you feel your fear? I am curious about that. Yours is there. Interesting. Yours was there. Interesting. Mine's here, like right here in my gut. Shoulders. Yeah, my gut. Interesting. Interesting. I said, releasing fears give me the freedom to step into my power, own my earning capacity, and live the life that I truly desire. That was mine. So, oh, Amber, I love that you're sharing. Releasing this fear gives me the freedom to be the person I want to be and to stop being a people pleaser and caring about what other people think of me, the freedom to live for me and have the strength to lead others. And you felt it in your gut. And that's the other thing, guys, if you don't want to speak up, go ahead and type it there too. But I do think that there's power in sharing what that freedom statement gives you. With that said, you guys, I hope that that was helpful. We are going to post more about like the upcoming events, the promotion schedule. We're going to like list that all out there for you. Um, I know that we're going to come up with a plan. I know that when we've done like flash sales and stuff like that, we've had like Meg pop in or Kaylin pop in or whoever pop in to the team page and say, here's the invite I'm doing right now. Here's what my posts look like, what I'm doing right now. We're all going to do that for the entire team, for each other, just to keep each other aware of like what we're doing, but also for like, you might just get that little hint of like, oh, my message could sound like this. Or maybe you hear from like a different leader that's doing it just slightly different. You're like, oh yeah, that works for me. But we're all kind of working towards the same goals and the same deadlines and the same dates. And we're really just gonna like empower each other, lock freaking arms for the next, however, what is it? A month, two months, two months basically of this year, this shitty ass 2020 year, which when the calendar turns to 2021, like it's not really probably even gonna be different. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, and I know the last thing I wanted to say on here before we got off was congrats to Kaylin. I know that it's such a bummer that you're not going to be able to go there in person. I am sure that they'll make it special for you. And I do know that there may or may not be something in the works about allowing you to postpone your go until next year so that you can do something in person. So I know there's a lot of people who fought really hard you guys, I'm talking about new leaders. She, she qualified for new leaders conference and out in Vegas and 2020 ruined it again. So, um, but super, super duper proud of you and everything you've done this year and congratulations. So, um, all right, that was all I had for you tonight. You guys go out there, invite people. Don't let those fears re like release those fears. Everybody has them. It's completely normal. Reread your freedom statement to yourself constantly and remind yourself, who is out there that you can help the you before this business that needs you the you that needs you before before this right like you have something amazing to offer other people go offer it to them i know that this has completely changed my life in so many ways and um i just have to think about that girl and go talk to her so um hope you guys enjoyed your monday night we will talk soon i will see you in the team page probably get up early tomorrow becca maybe you should just message me all right <laughs> nice bye guys